Alton Alexander Nolan pleaded guilty Friday to first-degree murder for beheading a co-worker in 2014 and again asked for the death penalty. The former Moore food plant worker also pleaded guilty to assault and battery with a deadly weapon for trying to behead another co-worker and to assault with a dangerous weapon for approaching a plant official with a knife. The Oklahoma's Nolan Clay reports Cleveland County District Judge Lori Walkley put off a decision on whether to accept Alton Nolan's plea until August 12th as a new defense expert had concluded he is mentally ill. The judge must decide if Alton Nolan knowingly and willingly entered his plea. Judge Walkley questioned Alton Nolan on Friday for more than 90 minutes, asking him the standard questions about what he did and if he understood he was giving up his rights to a jury trial by pleading. So at this point, the, the judge is being very careful, making sure that Mr. Nolan's rights are protected, but at the same time, uh, if he has uh, has made a knowing voluntary plea, then we can proceed on. So she's wanting to make sure that we don't do anything during the court process that causes this case to be reversed down the road. Uh, then at the same time, if he, if he does want to plead guilty, then we'll, then she's, uh, go, and, and legally she can accept that plea, then, then uh, I believe that she will. But she wants to make sure that, that, that it's done properly and we don't, we're not back here in six months uh, after an appeal and, and starting over. Even though Nolan has asked for the death penalty, prosecutors must, by law, put on evidence that the punishment is warranted by aggravating circumstances. The judge then will decide the punishment.